how to create a scatter plot in Excel with three variables. Charts are great ways to visualize data and Excel has many tools that you can use to build charts and to format them. One such chart that can be built is the scatter plot. Typically, a scatter plot has only two variables because it uh, represents the intersection of two dimensions, that is the uh, x-axis horizontal and the vertical y-axis. Now, there may be uh, a situation where I want to add a third variable. Now, since this is a 2D, since the scatter plot is 2D, as long as it is in Excel, adding a third variable would be uh, difficult to add as another dimension. So, we can add the third uh, variable either as uh, by changing the color of the dots or the size. In this example, we will add a third variable in, in the form of a color. So, in this example, before uh, building the scatter plot, I need to do some data manipulation. I will have to, for the third variable, extract the unique values and create a set of uh, values relating to the selling price or kilometers driven. So let's see how to do that. In this example, I have some a list of used cars, the manufacturer, selling price, and kilometers driven. Typically, I could just uh, plot a scatter plot with the selling price and kilometers driven, but I also want to know the manufacturer. So I can see that I have uh, four unique manufacturers here. I have created four columns. I now need to map these to the selling price so that I can use this set of data with the kilometers driven. To do that, I use the if function. So it's equals if I'm saying now if this row value, the manufacturer, is equal to the column heading, I want you to display the selling price. Otherwise, I want you to display an error so that the cell will be ignored. That's any and it's a function and close brackets and press enter. So in this case, since the first value matches this, I get this value. I'm going to copy this down, so before that I have to make the uh, column header constant by selecting the cell reference and pressing F4. I can cop now copy it down. Before that, I need to add this formula to the other columns. So let's copy this, select it and press Ctrl C. Now go to uh, the next column, click in the formula bar, Ctrl V, change this to F because that is the column here. Here, of course, this row says a Tata, so this will, I'll get an error. Now back to Honda, say Control V, and make this into G. Press Enter. This also would be an error. Mahindra, Control V, change this to H. Then again, of course, I have an error because the first row is Tata. I can now select these and drag them down. Now I have my data ready. Let's move a little to the right. This being done, I can now build my chart. So I will select uh, all the data, go to insert. Under charts, I will say look for scatter and select this. Now, as you can see, the chart has been created. Let's just move it to the side so that it's easier to see. It doesn't overlap the data. And this has been done neatly with three sets of variables. So I have the colors representing the different uh, manufacturers. I have the selling price and I have the kilometers as well. Each dot, if I hover over this, I can see this is 0.32,000 with 17 uh, lakhs and 32,000. So of course, to enhance this chart, I need to format it by selecting it. On chart design, I can go to add chart element and add various things. So for example, I can add the horizontal title and I will change this. Uh, to represent the kilometers uh, driven. And similarly, I can format the title and the add another title for the y-axis as well. So this is how to create a scatter plot with three variables in Excel. Please read the appended article for more information.